everybody, Lee Turley here with uh, John Morgan of Brand Breakout. A uh, little kind of spontaneous uh, interview here on a Friday. Found some time in the schedule. John, I really appreciate that. Um, no problem. Tell us a little bit about yourself, um, some background and um, some entrepreneurial background especially, and then tell us about what you're doing right now. Sure. I mean, my background kind of goes back to high school. Um, unlike most kids in high school that were thinking about chicks and music and all that, I was reading marketing books and books on branding. Uh, obviously not popular with the ladies at all <laughs> because of that, uh, but it's done me well later in life. Um, so I just found it all fascinating. Uh, I don't really know why. I guess it was just sort of my calling. But I never thought of myself as an entrepreneur or really even thought of any of it as a career as much as I just thought it was an interesting hobby. So when I got out of high school, I, uh, you know, I attempted college, uh, I guess I could say. That story is kind of crazy. Uh, attempted college wasn't for me and then decided that it was time to get married and time for me to get a quote-unquote real job, uh, which meant I didn't know what in the world I was going to go do. So I ended up getting into real estate because I thought I'd be good at sales because I liked sales and all of that. So I thought, sure, let's do that and quickly realized that the whole real estate industry and that business model is broken and tried to do some things differently and finally realized that all of the marketing and branding stuff that I had been reading came in handy as I built my brand and marketed myself uh, grew that business fairly large ended up selling that real estate business off because real estate wasn't my passion and basically what had happened was a nice little surprise blessing because of the success I had in real estate other businesses in different industries were beginning to notice me and they were reaching out wanting me to consult with them and help their business and I had so much fun doing that so I got out of real estate went into that full time which is basically where I'm at today I help people build their brand and make sure that everyone knows who they are Wow so how long has that been now for you well gosh I'm, I'm 31 which for me seems ancient, but to most people still seems you know, kind of young. Uh, I started the real estate business in 2002, and I officially like finally got out of it for good in 2008. But I've been doing the consulting and things since 2002 as well. Okay. So in addition, yeah, yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, nice. And um, from from what I hear, you're you're working on a, a book project right now. Yep, have a book coming out this fall uh, through Wiley and Sons, which is you know awesome that they uh, contacted me about doing a book. And the book is basically all about helping people brand themselves and become you know the go-to person in their niche or in their industry, but in doing it in a way that works. Whereas I feel like the way most people market their business is completely broken and completely wrong. The book tackles that and teaches you how to do it in a way that actually works based on proven strategies. So is uh, so it's for kind of the business perspective of branding or is it for like personal branding or is there a difference? Well, yeah, well, there, to me there's not a difference because even if you're a corporation, you've got personal brands within that corporation and some businesses get that and they allow it and other businesses are still behind the times and don't get it and they want to fight that which is a big problem but the book is specifically Certainly, if you're a personal brand, you you know if you're an author or a speaker, you know, or a coach, consultant, you know, anything like that, you're gonna love it because it's really speaking to you. But even if you're the CEO of some company, you're gonna learn a lot of new ways to shift how you're doing it. That's gonna be more effective. That's not only gonna make your employees happier, but it's gonna make your clients happier as well. Uh, so I think that there's a relationship there. If you look at Apple, for example, Lee, Apple's a great brand. You know, they're one of the biggest brands out there, and they do so much right. But Steve Jobs is certainly one of the largest personal brands as well. Yeah. And one of the reasons we all feel so attached to Apple is because of Steve. If it wasn't for his personal branding and him putting himself out there, you know, would we care as much about Apple? Maybe not. Yeah. And so they're definitely related. So um, at some point in there, you know, between you know, doing, going into real estate and, uh, and then you know, making that shift into the full-time consulting I mean did you when did you start feeling like an entrepreneur at that point or when did you have you you know gotten to the point where you're like I mean because during that whole time you really I mean you were an entrepreneur but you said sure. that you didn't necessarily really consider yourself an entrepreneur throughout that when did you make that yeah. switch and what was it right well you know what guy I don't even know if I realized that until just recently yeah. um, it, and it 
<laughs> it came from when I was in high school. Uh, every year, the school would do a magazine sales contest. And I was not the kind of student who would apply myself or certainly care about any kind of contest. But I found out that if you were a top seller, not only did you get money, but you got out of school for a week and you got all these like additional prizes that certainly motivated me, you know, and really spoke to me. So I was like, okay, great. You know, I may, you know, do this. And I found out my brother, uh, who's older than me, um, he had gone through high school and he had been, you know, top seller like two years out of his four years in high school. I'm very competitive and certainly could not let my brother you know, hold these records, you know, and then me come <laughs> through and not even try. Uh, so I went and did that and uh, won that every year. And so it was great. And then I ended up actually uh, the list of people that I was selling magazines to after I graduated, I sold it to a junior who was going into his senior year. I sold that list to him so that he could be the top seller his senior year. Huh. Uh, and that was like, you know, kind of a warning sign of, wait a minute, you know, I've got that entrepreneurial mindset. Um, but it really wasn't until recently when, you know, anytime my family talks to me, none of them understand what I do. And that's when I started to realize I must be an entrepreneur because it makes no sense you know, to the ordinary person of, you know, what I do. So I'm still kind of grasping with, you know, what an entrepreneur even is or means.